instead if you start from uh, a consciousness centric framework where uh, the fundamental building blocks are uh, conscious units and then derive matter as a derivative from it so probably uh, you would be in a better position to do uh, a better science and uh, to contribute to the holistic well-being of the society to issues of uh, mental health and related issues could be addressed very nicely because uh, we are addressing the root of the problem the self who is the perceiver rather than the inert matter uh, that doesn't perceive and doesn't have any awareness or any consciousness uh, so instead of uh, solving the problem uh, where it doesn't exist we should start right at the beginning where uh, we create the framework uh, where there is scope for all of this so in the in the in the way uh, reductionist uh, framework of modern science has evolved as i mentioned at the beginning uh, we completely uh, took out all the subjective aspects uh, the notion of self experience all such things are taken out so now uh, if we want to include all of this we need to rewrite the whole narrative and uh, create a framework where consciousness is fundamental rather than con- considering consciousness as a derivative we need to consider consciousness as fundamental then only uh, there can be a new revolution that can take place and uh, and our indic philosophy uh, i strongly feel that it's certainly going to help us formulate uh, such a epistemic and ontological framework uh, solve the difficult problems we have in our society so instead of uh, seeing different uh, aspects of knowledge as uh, different uh, disjoint pieces we will see everything uh, in a holistic framework so that would uh, be certainly helpful for the whole of humanity so the science uh, which has become for some reason uh, quite destructive uh, because of uh, the misuse so probably when such aspects are included uh, we may have uh, a better world to live in